I threw a strike and then you had to show your home run ball. <laughs> Mm. Oh shit! Mm. <laughs> you have trouble with happiness. Is that hard for you? I'll tell you what bugged me was your fake concern there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way he leaned in and you squinted your face. I say, do you have trouble being happy? No, I, I don't have a problem being happy. I have a great time being happy as long as nobody asks me that. <laughs> <way."> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know, like. What do I have to do to convince people that I, I, I'm not walking around in a rage, but like, if you say something stupid, I'm, you know, I'm going to look at you. <laughs> you um, are performing at Fenway Park. You are doing comedy at Fenway Park. Yes, I am. Which is, I assume, that's got to be, I mean, that's, nobody's ever done that before. As a guy from Boston, that's got to be incredible. Yes, I'm trying to block that out, how insane that's gonna be so. Uh, How many tickets is that? How many seats? I don't know. I've blocked the whole thing out. I'm just like, I have a gig in Boston in August, and I'm just gonna try to like, you know, go out there. You know, people are like, you should do something. You should have uh, one of the Red Sox, you know, come out on stage. It's just like, why? Why would I do that? I should just just stick to what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my jokes and hopefully tell your jokes and then hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll it'll, go. It'll, it'll it'll be all right. You got a little taste of what it will be like to be on stage at Fenway when you threw out the first pitch there last month. Was that something that you were like worried about? Because a lot of people freak out about that. Oh, I like I wasn't worried about it, and then everybody was like giving me all of this stuff about like uh, you know about you know, throwing the pitch out, make whatever you do, make sure you don't bounce the ball. Somebody goes, I get, you know what, you know what you do? Don't throw it from the mound, throw it from the grass in front of the mound. And I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. Cause then if I bounce it from the grass, it's like, I'm going to get doubly like bashed. Yeah. You know, everybody does that on the internet, right? Yeah, you right. guys will act like you don't read that stuff, but they do. <laughs> so I was just like, all right, well, if it's going to happen, I'm going to throw it from the mound. But, um, <laughs> I just the level of stress. People are like, whatever you do, don't bounce it. It's like, or else what? I don't get my MLB contract. It's like I'm a bald 53-year-old comedian. I can throw it through the backstop if I want to. <laughs> well, let's take a look at how it turned out. All right. Well, I noticed I, know, I went I up watching. there and just did it. I didn't stand there long enough that. to think about it. Look at this. Oh god, that's look terrible. Look at that. Look at that though. Look at that. No look. Yeah. I mean, come on, who's making fun of anything? Oh, God, I thought my leg was coming up and around. Well, you got the pitch, and then, you know, if things, if your life continues to go well, perhaps you will graduate to this. And here's Jimmy Kimmel, host, of course, of the show on ABC. Only down two lines right now. Okay. 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 Oh, shoot. Is that a softball? He's flexing on them. And so, yeah, you got your pilot's license. And do you ever fly yourself to these gigs? No, it's too much stress because then if there was any sort of weather problem or something like that, and I also I don't like flying at night because if you know, God forbid, I had an engine problem, it's like where would I put it? I don't I don't need you know. Is that an open field? Is that water? Like you can't tell at night. You so know? you're a pilot who almost never flies. No, I fly when he says first you had to big league me with your home run, <laughs> and now he's gonna pull on him now flying a jet. He be doing that, yo. He be doing those slider remarks. He he loves to do yeah, that, bro. Man. One time he had Jimmy Butler on, and he <laughs> roasted his fit, bro. Oh my god! That's a good looking jacket you got on there. Yeah, I would uh, I would wear yours, but you don't have nearly as good a physique. No, as I got going. That's true. I think I had those as sheets when I was like <laughs> four years old. You don't want to do this. Right here. Not, not now. Hey. He was on his ass. I'm like, yo, this guy has no chill. He be, he be smiling like, like he's, he's innocent, but he's not yeah, innocent, like, bro. Like he's a friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bill, Bill got on him like at the beginning. He's like, oh, don't give me your fake, um, yeah, yeah. fake concern yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Jet. Where'd you get the fly? What are you gonna take? He's gonna pull out him now, flying a jet. <laughs> Did you get to fly with Tom Cruise for the? the I did take a there? helicopter flying lesson once, and it was the most terrifying like eleven minutes of my whole life. It was terrifying. Yeah, the first time it kind of runs up. You just like, have to hold the the, the what psychometer? Yeah. Is that what you're basically called? in a guillotine? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in the air. Yes, in the air. You have directed a film. Is it done? Or have, you, have you finished it? You shot it? And yeah, it we shot it. it. Uh, we shot it for Miramax. And uh, we are right now, we're editing it. Um, stars myself, Bobby Cannavale, 
uh, Bokeem Woodbine. Uh, oh, yeah, he's yeah. great. Both those guys are great, and you're great, too. That I mean, that's a great cast you have there. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good movie. It's called Old Dads? Old Dads, yeah. It's basically about guys like me that have, you know, kids really late in life, and then, mm. you know, you bring your kids to school, and there's this whole new way of doing stuff, and, uh, you know, people start giving you looks. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> And you are, you have another Netflix comedy special coming. Uh, that I later... hosted a thing, uh, Bill Burr uh, presents uh, Friends That Kill, where we have all these great uh, comics coming up, and uh, that's you know, out in June or something like that. Very good. Well, it's yeah. always a delight to see you enjoy that NBA Finals. I know you're really going to, you're going to soak up every second of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't be that guy screaming at his TV with his kids around. So I just sort of like, I kind of poke my head in and I come back out. No, it's great. You're yeah. like, you, if your team wins, you'll be like, yes, they won, but it was fixed. Yeah, <laughs> I will. <laughs> In a way, I, I mean, it's, not, it's my son. I, bro, his sense of humor is too funny for me, bro. Nah, because I think I think Jimmy Kimmel was like making fun of him. Uh huh. I know what I'm saying, yo. He's like, he's, yeah, not, he's yeah, not playing yeah. those games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, go back, yeah, go back. back, go back. Your team wins, you'll be like, yes, they won, but it was fixed. Yeah, <laughs> I will. <laughs> In a way, I, I mean, it's, not, it's massaged. <laughs> Who's your team? Uh, Lakers. I like the Lakers. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys. That's one of the most massaged histories <laughs> of all time. Who doesn't like a massage? Yeah. You got a mobbed up ref. You got a BAA championship. You take four <laughs> championships, five championships of Minnesota. It's a very Hollywood resume where you're sort of jacking it up. Bill Burr, he takes the fun out of absolutely everything. You can see it. No, 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 no. What? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Um, you ain't leaving on that. I threw a strike and then you had to show your home run ball. Don't <laughs> f yourself. Mm. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, I would. I'd like to see you playing softball. When they had the f I used to like pitch from a regulation mound. They moved the f wall in like 200 feet. Get the f out of here. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, they're smiling. Yo, fun. Yo, yo, they're smiling. But Loki, there's beef. There's beef, Loki. Uh huh. Yo, you yes. want to screw up after the show behind the scenes, yo? Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, the background was probably talking bro. like, "Oh man, that fucking Bill Burr, man. I hate that guy." You know what I mean? Yo, nah, yo, Jimmy Kimmel. I'm telling you, he does this all the time. He always throws shade, but that's how he is. Like, yeah. I guess that's how he grew up. He's always been like doing that with his family, just talking smack like, at, the, at the dining table and stuff. But like he does this all the time, and he just puts a smile on his face. But he ain't innocent, bro. He is yeah. toxic, low key, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's mad yeah. funny, bro. I want to see another another you know episode of, of them too, because <laughs> yeah. I want to see who wins, like who who wins the, the battle of, of the wits, bro. I, I feel yeah, like bro. Bill Burr will, will definitely win. If, kinda if Jimmy though. was at Bill Burr's show. He's gonna yeah. get it, bro. He's gonna like he's gonna get smoked. Like right now, this is Jimmy yeah. Kimmel's home court. So of course he gets to say things and get away with it. But man, remember that one time when you know Bill Burr came at that one girl in the audience? With me. Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bill? <laughs> like, yeah, or something yeah, like yeah. that. He was like going off on her in front of the whole crowd. He's just throwing that friendly shade right now, like over here, he's throwing it. I think it's he loves shade, but still it's like, yo. Shade, yeah. <laughs> he really about to end the show <laughs> off like that after he still shade like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. He looks like he's having a great time. Oh, damn. <laughs>